I said we're going to look at Luke chapter 19, verses 1 to 10. I'm going to read from NIV. If you have a Bible, Luke chapter 19, 1 to 10. If not, we have the screen there that you can also read along with us as well. Jesus entered Jericho and was passing through. A man was there by the name of Zacchaeus. He was a chief tax collector and was wealthy. He wanted to see who Jesus was, but because he was short, he could not see over the crowd. So he ran ahead and climbed a sycamore fig tree to see him, since Jesus was coming that way. When Jesus reached the spot, he looked up and said to him, Zacchaeus, come down immediately. I must stay at your house today. So he came down at once and welcomed him gladly. All the people saw this and began to murder. He was gone to be the guest of a sinner. But Zacchaeus stood up and said to the Lord, Look, Lord, here and now I give half of my possession to the poor. If I have cheated anybody out of anything, I will pay back four times the amount. Jesus said to him, Today, salvation has come to this house because this man too is a son of Abraham. For the Son of Man came to seek and to save the lost. Let's pray. Father, we pray for this word and the scripture. Thank you for these wonderful stories that you set up for us. Lord, speak to us, to your Holy Spirit, to the Word, and use my word and my mouth. In Jesus' name, amen. This morning, we're going to look at the story of the man called Zacchaeus. If you grew up in the church, probably you may have learned so many times about the story of Zacchaeus, Dakuyu, that's my friend Ukrainian living now. <laughs> he don't speak English, and but you know he has he just came here five days ago from Ukraine with with one kid and a wife and three of them. Let's go back to our script, the message. If you grow up in the church, you learn this, the story of Zacchaeus, and you may probably even learn with the song. How many of you learn about the, the song Zacchaeus? Yes, see, some of them are now. Let me read for you the song. It goes like this. Zacchaeus was a wee little man, and a wee little man was he. He climbed up in the sycamore tree for the Lord he wanted to see. And when the Savior passed that way, he looked up in the tree and said, Zacchaeus, you come down, for I am going to your house today. Zacchaeus was a wee little man, but a happy man was he. For he had seen the Lord that day, and a happy man was he, and a very happy man was he. That's a, the song that we learned from when we were a kid. Zacchaeus was a Jew and a descendant from Abraham. His original name probably came from Hebrew, which is Zacchaeus. So if I say Zacchaeus, also the same a correct one. Zacchaeus also the correct one. And the, uh, the, the meaning of the name is pure or innocence. Two weeks ago, our sermon was from Luke 18 and the end of the paragraph. And when Jesus was entering to Jericho, into Jericho, there was a blind man who called out, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. Jesus ordered to bring the blind man. And when the blind man was in front of Jesus, Jesus asked him, what do you want me to do for you? What did the blind man answer to Jesus? Did he say, Lord, give me some money so that I can feed myself? 
or give me, Lord, uh, a house so that I can live, or give me some t- to be survive. I need something else that to be able to not standing here and begging money from other people. No. The blind man did not say that. The blind man said, Lord, I want to see. I want to see. The blind man's response was, he wanted to see and to see Jesus. And Jesus healed the blind man. The blind man's life was transformed and he was praising God and the people who saw also praise God. Because of him, many people see the, the power of God and accept who Jesus is. Jesus said, receive your sight. Your faith has healed you. Do you have faith in Jesus Christ to be healed of your spiritual illness and need to have faith? Faith in Jesus Christ. When you pray for your physical healing, do you pray with faith? Do you want to see Jesus? Here some of us may be look, looking good physically, but spiritually some of us may be sick. You may, see, you may need Jesus in your life to heal your spiritual blindness. You can receive healing by faith through Jesus Christ. He is the healer, redeemer, and he is our savior. The King of King and Lord of Lord. Zacchaeus wanted to see Jesus, but there was there were so many crowd, and he was short. Therefore, he was not able to see Jesus. That is why he has to climb the sycamore fig tree. Those day, climbing the tree for adults is unusual. When people saw an adult climbing the tree, they mocked them. Look, look, he is climbing the tree and they make fun of them. It's embarrassing for adults, <coughs> excuse me, to climb on the tree. The reality, the reality is we all have something that sort. Some people have sort and temper. Moses was sort temper in the Bible. Sort in wisdom, sort in finance. Sort in knowledge, a sort in understanding, and some people sort physical structure like me. So we all have something that sort. Well, according to in Bangladesh, 70, 77.9% of people is height is 5.4. So I'm still average, more than average. And Guatemala, also the same thing, average height is 5.4. In the United States, the average is 5.9. And some theologians say that the Apostle Paul was under five feet, the very short. Small guy, maybe that is why Paul mean is this small. Paul name meaning is small or humble. Generally, those days, people are not tall. The average size is 5 feet or 5.5 feet. That is why they are not that tall. The fourth president of the United States, how many of you know the name? Let's take some history quiz. <laughs> James Madison. James Madison was only 5 feet 4 inches. And he was the shortest president of the United States. But he was very smart, and he was known as father of the Constitution. And also, he was founding father of his country. How many of, how many of you know Danny DeVito? De, De he was a very short guy, too, right? He, he only 4 feet 10 inches. Do you know he was the the Golden Globe Award and Emmy Award winner. He won 
Zacchaeus was a little man and he was very, very rich. Probably Zacchaeus was one of the wealthiest people in Jericho. The richest person in Jericho. But he was poor spiritually. And he was desperate to see Jesus Christ. Verse 1 to 4 says, Jesus entered Jericho and was passing through. Say, remember, Jesus has been traveling to Jericho. We have been talking this a few weeks already. This is the same Jericho that we read, we read in the book of Joshua. Joshua chapter 6. If you read Joshua chapter 6, you can see the whole thing, what happened when the trumpet sounded, the army shouted, and, and at the sound of the trumpet, when the men gave a loud shout, the wall collapsed. That the same Jericho. It is a beautiful city and a big, and it is one of the center for the businesses and all kinds of things. And a man was there by the name of Zacchaeus. Zacchaeus. He was a chief tax collector and was wealthy. Look, Zacchaeus was not just tax collector. He was chief tax collector. He probably had many other tax collectors under him, employed by him. Those day people don't like tax collectors. He was despised, despised by others, and he was hated. He was in a business with the Roman occupier and took advantage of his own people. He cheated them. He exploited them. And in the, in, in, and in the process, he became wealthy. Those days, the tax collectors are considered a traitor. Well, even today, most people in the United States don't like to call IRS. As soon as you say IRS, there will be someone people would say, I hate IRS. I don't know, is anybody IRS agent here? <laughs> If so, please forgive me. I'm just saying the truth. <laughs> Zacchaeus, was want, Zacchaeus wanted to see who Jesus was. See, he wanted to see who Jesus was. Probably he heard so many about what happening in Bethany. It's not long ago that Jesus was rising the Lazarus from the dead and healing the ten leprosy and healing the blind men. So he may already heard so many things what's going on with this man. That's why he wanted to see who Jesus was. But because his physical structure was small and short, he could not see over the crowd. Therefore, he had to run ahead of Jesus and the crowd and climb on a sycamore fig tree so that he can see Jesus. He may not have expectation Jesus to call him by his name, but Jesus knew already his name because Jesus came to seek and to save the lost. When I was a kid, I used to climb the sycamore fig tree and eat the fruit. I don't think I'd like to eat now, but you know, when a kid, we eat everything. Also, people hunt. When uh, the deer come to eat, the, if the sycamore fig tree is there at the season of the fruit, the deer love to eat and the deer will come in evening and morning to eat the sycamore fig tree fruit and people used to hunt. Just sit there and wait until the deer come and, and kill the deer. Zacchaeus was desperate to see Jesus and he desired to change his life. That is why he overcome his obstacles because he wanted to change his life and he knew Jesus can help him 
to transform his life. Jesus has compassion on people who wanted to change their life for eternity. Verse 5 said, when Jesus reached the spot, he looked up and said to him, Zacchaeus, come down immediately. I must stay at your house today. Jesus did not make an appointment with Zacchaeus. He just said, I must stay at your house today. Did Zacchaeus say no to Jesus? Did he say, Jesus, my house is a mess and I do not want you to come to my house yet. Let me clean first and come next time, okay? Or go where you are, you are going and after you're done your business, come back and then when you're on the way, come to my house and I will f- prepare a meal and we can eat together. No, Zacchaeus did not have chance to say that. He came down at once and welcomed him gladly. He accepted Jesus right there in that moment. And what happened next? What did people think? Did people happy about it? Did people joyful by going to Zacchaeus' house? Verse 7 said, all the people, the crowd, saw this and began to murder. He was gone to be the guest of a sinner. It is so human nature to judge people very quickly. Some people judge others by their past. We forget about how God's, can, God's spirit can change them, can change us. He changed me and he changed you. And God can change anybody. Remember the Apostle Paul was when he went to Jerusalem. He tried to join the disciple. But the disciple were afraid of him. Not believing that he really was a disciple. Because of his past. What he did to the people for believers. He persecuted them. Some people ask me how I deal with people of different faith, different belief. I told them, I'm not here to judge people, but to love them. I have many friends of unbeliever, a Muslim, a, a Christians, I, I mean Hindus, Buddhists. But my, my job is not to judge them, but to show them the love of Jesus Christ through my action, through my word. The crowd did not know that Zacchaeus, Zacchaeus had been changed and transformed by the Holy Spirit and accepted Jesus by faith and repentance. But the people were judging him by who he was. Jesus invited invited himself to Zacchaeus' house, probably very rude for today's context, inviting ourselves to somebody's house without making an appointment. And I said, hey, I'm going to come and stay at your house today. Okay, I'm going to eat. We cannot do that today. We have to make an appointment. But Jesus did not make an appointment with Zacchaeus. He just said, I must stay at your house today. Verse 8, But Zacchaeus stood up and said to the Lord, Look, Lord, here and now I give half of my possession to the poor. And if I have cheated anybody out of anything, I will pay back four times the amount. Zacchaeus was, Zacchaeus said to Jesus, he would give half of his possession to the poor. If we look back to chapter 18, verses 18 to 30, there was a rich young man ruler who met Jesus, and Jesus said to him, sell everything you have and give to the poor, and you will have a treasure in heaven. Then come Follow me. The rich man could not do it. 
And he laughed sadly because he was very rich. Jesus looked at him and said, How hard it is for the rich to enter the kingdom of God. Indeed, it is easier for a camel to go through the eyes of a needle than for someone who is rich to enter the kingdom of God. It sounds impossible to enter heaven to rich people. But Zacchaeus was very, very rich, very wealthy. But in verse 9 says, Jesus said to him, Today salvation has come to this house because this man too is a son of Abraham. Zacchaeus was surrendering his life completely to Jesus. Even he was willing to pay back people if he cheated anybody by four times. Which means if he cheated a hundred dollars, he is willing to pay four hundred. Zacchaeus was transformed and accepted by the love of Jesus Christ. On that day, he received salvation. Salvation is a free gift. It is not how high you can reach or how your title and, and what title you have, how high position you have, but it is how low you can bend, how low you can go for Jesus, how low you can be humble. If Zacchaeus was not willing to come down from the tree and repent his sin, he may not receive salvation on that day. However, he is willing to come down at the feet of Jesus with the heart of humility and faith. Therefore, his life was transformed and changed and received the gift of eternal life. This morning, do you want to transform your life by Jesus Christ? Do you want to receive a salvation, eternal life? It is a free gift. You don't have to do anything. You just have to believe by faith, by repentance. You can have it. Jesus is right there to knocking your door, and he wanted to live in you, to live in your heart. Are you willing to accept? Are you willing to accept Jesus Christ? If so, humble your heart and practice, practice the humility of heart into your life. And say, Lord, I'm sorry for what I have done to my friend, my neighbor, my co-workers, and even to my spouse. And looking down on other people, looking down or because of their dress, looking down or because of their st 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 position, looking down or because of how they look. Lord, I have been arrogant, I have been proud and despised people. Lord, I need your help to be more like you and be humble. Lord, I need your help. Please help me. Help me, God, so that I can be more humble and more positive into my life. Please forgive me. And now I will be more willing to be down rather than high. I want to be like you, Jesus. Like the way that you humble and show your disciples how to be serve others by washing your disciple feet. So, Lord, help me to be more and more like you in my life. When you surrender, when you pray this prayer, he is always, God is always willing to accept you who you are. There is nothing that God cannot forgive you. There is nothing that God cannot clean you. There is nothing that God cannot do for you. You just need to be willing to accept it. You just need your willingness from your heart. 
so that the Lord can give you. The Lord can live in you. Because for the Son of Man came to seek and to save the lost. On that day, a sinner meets a Savior. Zacchaeus met a Savior and he received eternal life. If you need a Savior to save you this morning, you can surrender your life to God by just saying, Lord, I'm a sinner. I confess with my mouth Jesus is Lord. And he will give you salvation, eternal life. So that you can live with him and forever and ever. Our life is too short. If you say, I'm going to wait until I become old, friends, you may be, you may make that wrong decision. I'm going to wait until I turn 90 years old. You may make the wrong decision. So you can make right now with your heart, Lord, I need you. I need your powerful name in my life, Jesus Christ, to change me, to transform me, to humble my life so that I can be like Jesus Christ. See, look at Zacchaeus did not seek, but Jesus the one that seek him to find the lost. Zacchaeus did what he supposed to do. He just wanted to see who Jesus was. But Jesus is the one that looking up and calling him, Zacchaeus, you come down. I must stay your house today. Jesus is the one that's seeking to him, seeking to save the lost. In the same way today, he is seeking to us, knocking to us, my son and daughter. He never leaves us. We are the one that live. We are the one that left. We are the one that go away from Jesus. We try to be our independent, but he is always with us. He is always waiting us like prodigal son when we are returning back. He is willing to accept us and we can become the child of God. Let's stand. As we pray, if you need a, a savior in your heart, you can pray wherever you are. You can ask the Holy Spirit to help you. Just saying, Lord, thank you for your son Jesus Christ to die on the cross for me. To shed the blood. And thank you for forgiving me. Lord, I'm a sinner. Just forgive my sin. Father, I pray that this word to this, this, the story of Zacchaeus help us to change our heart and transform our life less like Zacchaeus did. Speak to us, Lord, through this word. Use as the instrument to change us. We need your power. We need your Holy Spirit. We need your strength to fight our battle. We thank you, Lord, for your unconditional love. We thank you. In your Jesus' name, we ask and pray. Let's sing together.